All right, Max. I would love for you to introduce yourself and what do you do? Uh, hi, my name is Max Saron. I am the executive director at the CWB uh, Group. Awesome. And you've been in the industry for a long, long time. Do you mind giving us a quick intro in terms of how you got into the industry? Uh, well, how I got into it was sort of by accident because my dad was a boiler maker. Um, he tried his darndest to steer me away from the trades and to get me into university and follow that path, which I did go to university. But uh, I had a child very young and became a parent at a, at a young age. My ex-wife was actually still uh, 18 when she got pregnant. So I needed to make money. And at, uh, you know, at uh, 21 years old with a baby and in university, I needed to figure that out quick. My dad said, well, looks like you got, you're not going to get too far without a good job. Do you want to come work at the shop and, and continue with the welding journey? Because I had already been working since I was 17, just on weekends with my dad here and there. But that was the day it was like, it's full time now. So that's how I started. Awesome. And what advice would you have for someone looking to get into the trades? If you're looking to get into the trades, I would say don't be scared. Don't think that there's anything about you that would limit you. There's certain things I always hear from people, like I don't like math. Um, don't worry about it. You know, you'll learn. You'll learn. You have lots of time to learn. Also, your brain develops at different times. Mm -hmm. So when you're a kid, maybe you hate math, and then you're going to one day realize at 30 years old that actually you love math and you totally get it, right? So life is a journey. Just jump in. Don't worry about where you're going to end up because there's as we see here mm -hmm. so many different ways to get into the trades and to succeed that uh really just just do it just get in and and, and start your path for sure that's awesome are you hands-on yourself at all on yeah. the weekends too yeah i got my welding stuff? machines i got uh drill press i got uh I got pretty much all the tools except for an automated plasma cutter. I see you have one on sale <laughs> in your booth, uh, but that one won't fit in my garage. Um, I'm looking for one of those arc droids, actually. Maybe those things day. are pretty cool, the little arc droids. Mm -hmm. I think I could do one of those. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I still play around. I still build things. I work with my local community in Regina, so I, I'll make things for donations to raffle and awesome. stuff. I try to stay on it. You know, also street cred counts. <laughs> you don't, exactly. don't want to get caught flat-footed. You know, like you're the boss of welding, but you don't know how to weld. Hey, I can throw down. And what's your favorite process? <laughs> Honestly, going back to old school, I, I would say like a nice clean 7018. I, would, I came up in stick welding. I got into flux cores and wire processes later. I was in the mining industry, so mainly heavy industry, heavy wire. Um, that's what I got really good at. It's what most of my tickets were, very much into stainless. Um, I didn't get into TIG until much later in my career, and it's still not my strongest thing, even though I know in the world everyone's like, TIG this, TIG that. But when you're out there in industry, it's really not that common. Mm -hmm. it's, it's mainly wire and stick. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And obviously you're here for work, <laughs> representing the CWB, but what were you excited to see at Fabtech this year? My friends, oh. right? I'm excited to yeah. see the community and I'm excited to see the businesses we work with because I try not to treat our business partners like business partners, right? I try to treat our business partners like, like family. You're contributing. We're not for profit. Like, I mean, we're, you're con the, whatever we get, whatever connections we make here, it just filters down. It doesn't go into my pocket, right? <laughs> It filters down into the community and, and, and into kids and schools and and I and honestly the after parties and the <laughs> hanging out and that's the best part. It's the best part. Yeah. It really is. Like you have some great companies out there that support our after hours events. So it's really <laughs> really shameless plug CWS. <laughs> yeah, it was really great. And man, what a venue! That was fantastic. Great job to your team. Yeah, you guys yeah. did a really fantastic. Job. Everyone's Food thanking was me. Great. Yeah, it wasn't me the, at all. I know. <laughs> Shout out Daniela and her team. <laughs> Um, and last question is, what about the future of welding are you excited about? Well, right now there's a lot of fear about, you know, the skills gap and workers and the economy, the election. There's all these things that are always popping up in the welding world. I have been around a long time now. I've seen two recession crashes in, in my career. Mm -hmm. I've seen the ebb and flow of the industry and I've never been unemployed. I've never, welding has kept me safe. Mm -hmm. So when I get excited about the future, what I see coming out, it's that everyone right now is going to have these, you know, trepidations about their future or about jobs. But in 20 years, when we go back to that same person, they're going to be like, it was okay. It was okay yeah. because this is the skilled trades. There's always a need for skilled trades and it's, 
it's never going to go away. No, it'll evolve. It'll but. just evolve and things got to change and mm -hmm. shift as they always have. Yeah. I'm sure when they invented the car, all the horse wagon companies were like, ah, <laughs> stupid cars. But hey, you move on and you figure it out. And, yeah. and this is going to evolve into something and I, I get excited to see that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's it for me. Well, Thank I got a so question much. for you. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> yeah, I got a question for you. You know, what does CWS want to do at Fabtech? Like, what is the purpose of being here? What makes you excited to be at Fabtech Canada? Oh, my goodness. Um, I got to piggyback off your thing, which was connecting with the community. Uh, we started our business basically on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was chatting with folks, getting in the comment section, getting to know who the welders are out there. And at Fabtech, we get to meet them face to face. Yeah. Um, so that has been the coolest thing is kind of seeing and meeting people, putting a face to a name. And that's been the best part. Um, what we're doing, I think, is we want to we want to put the message out there that there is a one-stop shop for all your welding needs. Yeah. And we have a really passionate and knowledgeable team behind. And in Canada. Yeah, yeah behind yeah. the screen that is there to help you. Like, mm -hmm. we're not just an online website. There's humans behind it, and, and we're here, and we're passionate. We want to get to know the community, how we can support them, get their mm -hmm. jobs done. So um, Fabtech is a great opportunity for us to learn that and have those one-on-one -on -one conversations, which we don't get to do in our day-to-day because -day we're just so busy <laughs> running, yeah, you're this, just, you're running just the business. Stuff, yeah, 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 here we get to actually have those connections. Good. And, and one more question for you. Before we started, you said, don't ask me any questions about welding, right? <laughs> because you came in as many people <laughs> in, this, me yeah, in this, in this, you know, in this world. Well, no, this, I would say most of the people in this room didn't start in welding. You ended up in welding and you ended up in a career that maybe you didn't think you were going to go down, right? Not at all. <laughs> now, now you're in this world now. You're, you're all in. Mm -hmm. How's the learning curve been for you coming from, you know, the world that you thought you were going to be going down mm -hmm. and then whoop, hard right into this world. Mm -hmm. And when, you know, with, with, with Matt being like, Hey, we're going to do this crazy thing. And yep. you're very supportive and, and well, we all really know who runs the company. So, <laughs> you know. How has that learning curve been for you? Uh, I'm still learning. The curve is, I'm like at the beginning of the curve still, and we're mm -hmm. seven years in. Yeah. Um, I come from a corporate background. My dad was in the trades, but not a uh, more carpenter. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I have zero, zero knowledge of, of the welding industry, but I've learned a lot and it's so interesting. There's so many different facets of welding, yeah. like metal artists and mm -hmm. iron workers and et cetera, et cetera. So um, I'm still learning, but it's, fun and it's i feel one of like the coolest trades out there it is obviously 100 percent. we're, we're little, rock stars i'm not even biased because i'm not a welder but it really is one of the coolest <laughs> trades out there have you learned to weld at all have you have you gotten to play on some of the machines i haven't we don't have we need to make the time you do. Um, matt and i really need to commit weekends to doing this um unfortunately with a child now it's harder to commit that but that's a mm -hmm. really big goal of mine i really want to want to try I, I, you know there's lots of small shops and i'll see that they'll have like a weld off Mm -hmm. on a Saturday for staff, bring everyone in, yeah. plug in a machine and see who could do the best weld by the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, we have a welder in our in our garage. Like I, <laughs> this, We have all the metal in the world to do it with, but we just got to commit the time. But that's all, right. definitely a goal of mine. Well, thank you for bringing me on your show and letting me ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for your time and Absolutely. for your collaboration. It's awesome working with you guys. And for all the people out there, make sure you check out Canada Welding Supply. <laughs> They're an absolutely great supporter of the CWB group. They do amazing stuff with us, and they've also already been on the podcast. So, Aww. hey, we're going to, well, this is the beginning Thanks and so much. continuation. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs>